Okay, people, I have scrounged the house and have gotten everything, any kind of colored paper. Uh, actually, it's quite a large stack that I found. Like some really cheap, regular craft, is this craft paper? I don't know. And some of my more expensive back in the days of like scrapbooking. Basically, I just got all my plain, really colorful paper out. I'm going to try my hand at, uh, what's it called? Brain work. Scrapbooking. I don't think I'm really, not scrapbooking. Uh, collage. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna keep saying scrapbooking. Collage. Lord help me. Come on. I feel like I need like a <laughs> something that like shocks this thing into working. This brain of mine. Grady sometimes says, I don't know how you make it through the day, <laughs> through a full day <laughs> without dying. Yeah. Yeah. I want to do some. Almost said it. Collage. I don't think I'm gonna like it because I'm not a big fan of like cutting stuff up, which surprises me because I actually like chopping a lot. So I'm surprised I don't like cutting with scissors. But what I'm gonna do is take those. Let me show you. I wanna take some of my contour drawings that I did or paintings. Mmm, that's gonna be one. I'm either gonna work from like these paintings or from blind contour sketches that I did. If I can find them. Yeah. I'm gonna work from some of these. Some of the wonky ones. Where are they all? That could be a fun one also. Both of these could be fun to collage. Maybe I'll get into this. I don't know. I gotta find some glue back here to use and see what I actually like end up liking. I don't know if I'll just use like a glue stick or some decoupage. I have all kinds of stuff in there to pick from. I'm also going to sharpen my scissors. I need to find scissors that are decent and sharp. I'm going to go sharpen these babies because I want good, sharp scissors. doggity people this is definitely not my thing i knew it wouldn't be my thing but you just you know you got to give things a try let me show you i think there's a couple things it's like causing anxiety the mess and all that glue I just i am not liking this it's a disaster zone over here and i even like got things out i was gonna save all my little bits no pretty sure i'm not gonna be doing this or again, I was using one of these as my reference. I thought that it would be nice to do something like simple for my first collage. And there's the hot mess of stuff everywhere. It doesn't look that bad on camera, but it feels very anxiety inducing to me. Here's my finished piece. Oof. Uh, yeah, it's still drawing. Yeah, I just don't love the process. I am very much a process person and I have to like the process. I didn't mind the cutting out as bad. The glue... Mm -mm. None of it. I'm gonna go clean up, put all this stuff up, and not mess with it again. It's really a shame too. I took all this paper from like five different locations and it was all like organized and now I just know I'm gonna go throw it all like in one spot, but I'm really done with this. Nancy Gruskin, if you're watching, I know. I did like doing it in your workshop, but today I didn't really care for it. That glue. I'm gonna have to go wash my coffee cup too because I got glue all over it. I have glue all in my hair. <sighs> okay, let me show you guys what I'm doing. So yesterday I did this collage and I didn't love it. I had this idea to get my oil pastels out, which I don't use much because they don't like dry all the way. And it's something that I got because I wanted to use in my sketchbook, but that's always like a hot mess. That doesn't work. Let me show you why it doesn't work. Where are you, you sketchbook? Oh yeah. I mean, maybe if I let things dry longer, it would work. Who has, you know, the patience for that in your sketchbook? Let me bring it over here. Maybe we can see better. Can you see how, like, it just transfers and really gets mucky? Yeah, it just doesn't work. But I was thinking if I just did it as a finished piece and, like, hung it up to dry. I was noticing this morning, like, these little swatches I did. So this is the inside of the carton. I did swatches for my colors on black 
and swatches for my colors on white. Which do I ever look at? No. I just grab and go. I was feeling these this morning and they're they're like not too smudgy. And I also hear that like you can spray hairspray on them, which I've used real fixative and that never works. I wanted to try them. I love a loose medium. So I got one of my pastels for this first one. I did like this kind of yellow ochre -y kind of color and went over, well actually I did different colors, went over to my mirror and did total blind contour sketches on three different colors. I just sewed this black. This is just a pink paint piece that I got out the other day for the collage. You can see I've got a chunk cut off. And then just another kind of neutral and did three quick blind contour sketches. And then I colored this one in. This is my favorite. I liked this smooth. This is, I think just, what is this? Yeah, it's just some hot press, hot pressed watercolor paper that I gessoed with black gesso. And guys, I'm loving this. I'm wondering if you're gonna be able to see the little, like there's this purpley pink around the eyes. I loved this. And I did this super quick, but I loved the colors. I'm loving this. So I'm gonna put this on the wall to dry. But I was thinking, you know, I would have to frame this under glass if I ever sold it or just put it up in my house. And it's still slightly monstery, but there is a sweetness about it there that I'm liking the balance. I don't know. I really loved how this turned out. Now I'm going to do these two on the pink and the neutral color. I have a feeling this black is gonna be my favorite. Yeah, that was fun. It's just a fun medium too. They're did I say they're oil pastels? Yeah. There's a butteriness about them. Kind of crayon e -nish. This could be a new thing. I'm gonna put you guys down and crank these other two out and see how they turn out. Let me show you what I've got. I did three of them. I'll start with my least favorite. I did this one on a hot pink, really hot pink. Oh, you can't tell from the lighting. Really hot pink paper. It turned out really weird. It was also on like, the paper had like a raised pattern. So it was like, I don't know. I, I definitely didn't like that one. Plus she turned out really weird. Very monstrous. Then here's my second one. This turned out a little more like pretty and delicate. This was just on a like brownish neutral uh, paper. I loved her lips. Man, does that pink and red look good together or what? I love that. Yeah, so there's that one. And then this was my favorite. Still monstery, but one, I love the smooth surface. I always love painting on black. It's like just the perfect amount of wonkiness. I love it. Let's put all three together. There's all three of them. That was a ton of fun. I'm going to put these three up on the wall or maybe hang them here with this one to let dry and see how that goes. Fun exercise for the day. You guys let me know if y'all like these exercises. If you like me sharing them and bringing you along. If you like to see kind of what I'm doing where I'm playing that's even interesting where you like <sniffs> snoozerama. Okay, I decided to hang the one that I liked best like up on the wall here. Look how cute she looks. I didn't really want to put the other two out, so I put them on the inside of this door so they could dry and so I didn't have to look at them too much. So I'll just close that up and I'm going to go gesso that pad again with my black gesso and in case you're interested I will tell you what my black gesso is I'll show you all right this is the black gesso that I use I love it it's great so I'm gonna get that done
I'm doing that thing again where I'm painting from or painting I'm using oil pastel but the reference I'm using are some of those that I did before so I was actually using this as my reference I mean isn't that interesting how different you can make them I definitely use this as my reference for that but just by changing colors and by being loose as I'm sketching it's just so different I'm feeling obsessed with these oil pastels I can't wait to show you the other ones I've been doing I've been cranking them out I'm just loving it on this black background so this was actually a contour blind contour drawing of myself when I had glasses on in the mirror and then but neither one of these look like me but I just could be my own model it's just so fun all right let me show you another one so this I don't know if you guys remember this one from the blind contour video but I used that lady right there which is basically me doing a blind contour sketch to do this one I'm hoping this shows up I really like how this turned out it's looking really dark over here on this part of the wall but here's another one I did I think I'm gonna take some of this stuff down and do like a whole series, a whole line of them because I'm loving how they're turning out. I wish, oh yeah, let me get closer up. That's better. Then you can see all the marks. Yeah, look at that. I mean, how fun is that? So I'm taking one color to outline with. I mean, doing these like cheeks and lips are just so fun. I did a little pattern on her shirt there. And then here's another one I did that I love. These are still turning out slightly monsterish. I really like them. Let's see, here's another one. Right here's another one. So there it is. And then here's some close up of it. Let me show you what I did. I put four the ones that I like over here. This lady, like in the viewfinder, she looks like she has a horrific like sunburn, but it actually looks really good in person. But now I'm questioning myself. Okay, does it look better up close? <laughs> I don't know. I think she turned out fun to see, and again, you can't tell like her glasses though are like purple. The colors aren't coming out. Let me turn this light on and see if that helps at all. Nope, she still looks sunburned. Oh well, can you tell the purple glasses? Nope. Oh well, I wish you guys could come and visit in person. She looks like she had like sunglasses on and sat on the sun.
Let me show you what I've done. I think I'm done with it. That was a ton of fun. I'm gonna go take a break and eat lunch and come back and see what I think when I'm done with it. But I just painted it real quick, real loose. Yeah, I did one painting recently where I did get her like smiling and I didn't like it as much. It looked kind of almost creepier. So yeah, there she is. This blue down here I loved. That was fun. I may make her hair a little darker when I come back. I don't know. I, the paint needs to settle down a little also. I like how her lips turned out. Yeah, that was fun. So what I did, I basically did a mix of this one and this one. Yeah, actually, when you look at that, you think what it, I guess it was more this kind of, yeah. I don't know if you can kind of see the resemblance, but this one turned out a little less monstery. That was fun. I'm gonna do that again. I definitely like, I don't know, I'm liking it. Hmm. I'm not liking this hair. I mean, it's just been a fun process to go, like all these different steps to go from the blonde contour drawing, you know, to the, from the collage, to the oil pastels, to oil painting. Oh, I also did what, um, gouache in there, watercolor. I mean, there's just been all these steps and painting from each of those. And it's kind of funny that all these are like self-portraits, but none of them look like me. So it's just fun. Yeah. Fun process. All right. Lunchtime. Ooh, the sun's coming out too. Nice. Something else I wanted to mention just real quick about this painting. I basically did this oil painting in the amount of time I would have done a watercolor. Like those that I did in a previous video, the loose watercolor painting sketches. So it's just super fast. Yeah. So I just wanted to mention that. I kind of look at it and think of it more like a sketch. Like an oil painting sketch and it is on paper that i just said so i guess officially that's what it is all right grady's in there stirring around in the kitchen so i know that's like the cue to go work on lunch he's getting hungry he rode yesterday for like a long time 40 miles i think and so he's hungry a monster like extra hungry monster mode can you tell that i'm like losing my voice it's just allergies but i feel kind of uh, uh, uh. all right going to make lunch all right guys, I messed with her a little bit more. So we just got back, here, let me talk to you like this. We just got back from a camping trip, which video on that coming soon, art while I'm camping. But this, I felt like I needed to mess with her a little more. Everything dried really fast on that paper. I guess it just absorbs it. So what I should have done before I started messing with her, painting on her, is to oil it out. So oiling out, and I'll, I'll get to this whenever I finally get to my oil painting video that I keep saying I'm gonna do, but it feels ginormous, so I haven't done it yet. But oiling out is a mixture of, a mixture that I do of one part stand oil and three parts Gamsol. And then you just lightly brush it on over like the dark parts, because what happens with the dark parts of oil paint is they, we call it sink in. Basically, it dries a little duller. And then like when you varnish a painting, it, brings it back to its full life. So I should have taken the time to oil it out because that's the only way you can tell what the true colors are with, with the dark parts. And I didn't do that. I started painting. Then I decided I was going to oil out parts of it. So you, you brush that on and then you wipe it off, which I brushed it on. I haven't wiped it off yet. Yeah, I probably should do that. You do it with like a lint-free rag. All these tangents. Uh, where was I going with that? So I started painting. Then I was like, oh yeah, I can't tell what the values are of the hair. If I'm, I'm think I'm making it darker, but maybe it's already dark. So then I started trying to oil it out. I've never done this like midway through. Of course, then I was getting some of the paint on the brush of the oil out thing and getting it all over the place. Anyways, I decided just to stop. This lady has got to be done. So I want to show it to you and be done with it. Okay, here we go. All right, so there she is. So like this is what I oiled out in her hair. I put a little oil out stuff on her lips, brought that back. And there's not a ton of difference from what I showed y'all earlier. I did start making her hair a little darker, which who knows, I may end up continuing to mess around with it. I don't know. I messed around with her eyes a little and that was basically it. Okay, hopefully this is gonna be a little better on a tripod and not. 
moving all around. So yeah, I'm going to be done with her. I need to like move on. You know what I mean? I'm just going to keep messing her up and I'm going to lose the looseness of it. And the brush strokes already started doing that with messing it up with messing with her. But that is it for this week guys. So next week I'm going to be bringing y'all the Dio Tour Rent shirt making. Yeah, so I did it and filmed it all for you guys. So if you're like, what in the world is she talking about? Why is she saying Dio Torrent? So weird. Well, uh, maybe I should put a list of the videos down below where I, I talk about this. You'll see it in next week's video, the full making of the Dio Torrent shirt. And it turned out, it turned out, well, it turned out okay. The back turned out to me that like the best was really fun. It's just a fun shirt to have. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you guys. I think you'll like it too. More painting on my clothes. It was a lot of fun. I'm kind of addicted to it. All right guys, so that's it for this week. We just got back literally yesterday from a camping trip and I've got a full day at of stuff to do today, editing and getting the video up for you guys either today or tomorrow. I have a long list of other things that I am in the works making for you guys. I'm excited about a whole like variety of things. So it should be fun. Thank you guys for joining me for another week. Thanks again. Love you guys so much.